Hello and thanks for stopping by the CG Bros. In this tutorial I'm going to show you a very cool technique on how to mirror any animation or motion capture file in less than five minutes using Motion Builder. In the video gaming industry there have been numerous times when I've had a motion capture file or character animation in which the character is moving one direction when I really need that character to be moving in the exact opposite or mirror direction while keeping all the original movements intact. Just recently, there was a case where I had a character with a rifle sidestepping to the right while holding a rifle in his right hand, but the required shot needed that character to be sidestepping to the left with a rifle in the left hand. This can be a real pain in the butt, especially when you don't have the budget or time to reshoot a motion capture session. And to make matters worse, it's also not that easy to fix using many of the major software packages on the market, except for Motion Builder. In this case, it's one of its strong suits. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we have our character loaded, and he is sidestepping to the right while holding the rifle with his right hand, and he's supporting it with his left hand. And we want to mirror this action. So the first thing we want to do is make sure we have keys on this character here. Um, so let's go ahead and go to Key Controls, and we want to plot all properties so it puts uh, keys on both the IK and FK skeleton. Make sure Gimbal Killer is on as well. So let's plot that out. The next thing is, just uh, as an aside, I just want to let you guys know that this uh, model I'm using is from Mixamo, and you can download a free model of this guy at uh, TurboSquid.com. And the background I'm using is uh, from an artist at uh, Bungie, who's an amazing environmental artist named Daniel Thiger. And you can check out some of his work at uh, www.dete.se. Uh, just, just amazing. Um, he's got some sci-fi stuff and some stuff he's done for Battlefield as well as some other games. So it's really great. Check him out. So uh, the first thing after that we want to do is we want to make sure that the control rig is off. Now very quickly also, down underneath the character itself, um, go to characters in the navigator here and click on the double click on the uh, whatever you're, you've named your character to. And down here under character settings, want to make sure that you do not have the HIK 4.5 solver. So in Motion Builder 2012, which I'm using here, um, it does not like the HIK rig, so that solver. A lot of things like in place mode as well as uh, this mirroring function I want to do does not work well, so make sure you've got that selected. Okay, so we're ready to go here. Go back up here to the top and you'll see little uh, menu item here called mirror animation. Let's go ahead and select it. And make sure your control rig is off and we want to go underneath this uh, icon here and we want to bake plot to rig. And as soon as you do that you'll see him switch and kind of flip over to the side here. So let's go ahead and go to a different perspective. My perspective camera. And as you can see, man, let me do another thing here. Let me, uh, hide my lights so you can see that as well. Shift H. I'm just going to go ahead and Shift H again. Okay, there we go. Let me zoom in here. Alright, as you notice, um, he is mirrored, so we can just push play real quick so you can see that going on. So now he's sidestepping to the left. Okay, perfect. But you'll notice obviously that the rifle here is still constrained to his right hand. Now I did do a little bit of setup here with this character at the beginning. I created some nodes here that you can uh, on each the the, uh, the left hand and the right hand so I had something to attach uh, this gun to or constrain. Um, you do need to do some setup so if I go to my, my T pose here, go to my front view and hit control A Let's actually turn on the skeleton here and turn these off. Now hide the background plane. You'll notice here that I've got this little node here and uh, I've created little uh, attach points for this weapon. So the weapon has its own and you can go to uh, some of my previous tutorials here and you can see how I constrain and create a node for the weapon to be attached to the hands. But I have one on the left, actually the right here and the left hand, uh, depending on which one you want to switch it to. So I, I did do some preparation for that, and I'll show you what that means. So now that we've got this guy here, 
um, I want to go to the constraint that I created. Now I did do the constraints on the uh, once again for the weapon, but I have it to, to his right hand and it needs to be to his left hand to match the new mirrored animation pose. So what we want to do is we want to select my node, turn off the active constraint setting, and then make sure that your translation and rotation is not selected in this menu here and push the X button and your left mouse click and drag over here and we'll replace it. Now the left attach point is there. Now as soon as I hit active it'll snap to the correct hand. Okay, I'll turn off my display of the uh, bones and you push play and now he's moving and sidestepping to the left. It's as simple as that. The, uh, the other thing, uh, I, again, what you may want to do is you want to go to a Story and move him back. So if you go to Story and turn that on, and you insert the current take, make sure Story is on, and hit Control A just in case you can't see anything, you can actually select his, uh, his parent node right here in the viewport, and you can move him back to 000. zero, zero. So now you got him moving to the left in the scene. It's as simple as that. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time.